Hi guys, um, so I'm doing a very quick video on uh, three things that um, tend to come up when we talk about training um, with food. Uh, so three things that people worry about. Um, so uh, hopefully this video um, sets some of that straight and um, gives you some reassurance uh, that training with reward-based training is um, the way forward for you and your dog. Um, we tend to mislabel food as a training tool we call it treats the problem with the word treat is that when i think about a treat i think about like a bar of chocolate or a bowl of ice cream and that for me feels luxurious and a bit naughty and not something that i can have on a regular basis when i'm doing training with food for my dog really what i'm um doing is i'm not treating them so it's not a treat it's not it's not an exceptional thing i'm using food to reward behavior so that behavior becomes more likely so um, i try not to use the word treat because i think it's misleading and i think it gives people the idea that these treats should be restricted and that they should be a once once you know once a, a, a week special occasion thing um, but that's not what training with food is all about Training with food is about making sure that your dog is rewarded and having a positive experience for giving you behaviors um, that you've asked them to do. For example, you ask for a sit, the dog puts their bum on the floor, they should be rewarded, or if you want to use another word, paid for that behavior, so that when you ask them for a sit later on, when you're on a walk on the side of the road, they are more likely to do it. Okay, so here are my top three things that people generally ask about when they start um, training with food. The first thing is people worry about their dog putting on weight. Um, and I think that's a fair, um, a fair worry because there are dogs uh, out there that are overweight. And also, um, you know, we don't want to be uh, subjecting our dogs uh, to future health risks. What I say is use something that you are nutritionally happy with that complements what you're feeding your dog um, so that they don't pile on the pounds. Um, I tend to find stuff that's natural and um, like high in protein doesn't tend to put on um, weight quickly. But if you use the high carbohydrate type treats like um, uh, the real heavy biscuit type things, they might do. So use um use food that you are very happy with nutritionally check the packet make sure there's no additives and all of that sort of stuff um check that um you know you're happy with what's going in it if not you can make your own treats but make sure that what you're using in your training is uh, adding to the dog's um nutritional needs the second thing um uh, that i get asked about in terms of um using food as a reinforcer is that it's messy so people struggle to put especially high value treats like your your pates and and things like that in their pockets um and you know they they they've been using treats uh, bits of sausage bits of cheese bits of pate and that sort of stuff and then they put it through the wash and then the pockets end up gross my um thing that helps with that is go out and buy yourself a treat pouch um, and go out and buy yourself a treat pouch that you love to wear so um, there's lots of treat pouches on the market and it will be up to you as an individual as to which one you're most comfortable with um, some of them clip onto a belt that you already wear some of them come with a belt some of them are designed to go into your pocket as like a liner use your treat pouch so that you're not ruining your clothes and that you're really happy to put that um, uh, high value treats uh, into your pocket and use them with your dog um, the third thing that I sometimes get asked about um, uh, using food as a reward is um, that um, people feel like they're bribing their dog. Now, it shouldn't feel like you're bribing your dog. It should feel like you're using the food as a reward for the behavior. So um, in training classes and one-to-ones um, and the way that I train is that I try to get people to understand that um, the the food in your hand and, and the luring and all of that sort of stuff is to be faded and the food comes after the behavior has been done uh, and if you're struggling with that that's definitely something to bring up either in classes or um, uh, if you want to drop me an email or drop me a Facebook message, you can, and I can talk you through the process um, to help you feel like you're not bribing your dog. It's a payment, if you want to phrase it that way, 
for the reward for the behavior that they've done i hope that helps thanks